Hi everyone, it's Marcus Curtis from Marcus Curtis Music, and in our last video we installed Cakewalk on this laptop. Just Cakewalk, no third-party plugins, but Cakewalk's weak link seems to be the lack of a good software synthesizer, okay? Honestly, they don't have much in the way of free VST instruments either. They have the strings, they have the bass, they have the drums, and they have the electric piano, okay? But there's uh, nothing like a real piano or the orchestral instruments, for example. So, uh, and a sampler, we need a really good sampler. So, uh, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to cover expanding the use of Cakewalk by using third-party plugins. I'm going to show you the third-party plugins I use that are free, that will expand the use of Cakewalk and help you get the most out of the software. Let's dive in. I've used a lot of free software over the years and I've arranged my favorite free software in a list called the Ultimate Free Software Collection. Now to get to that list, it's on my website. All you gotta do is open up a browser and type Marcus Curtis Music. That's the same as the YouTube channel. And so uh, you'll see it comes right at the top. Just click the top link, that's all you have to do. And when it loads, you'll see there it is, the Ultimate Free Software Collection, and it's divided into categories. So let's click on VST Software Plugins for free. Okay, our first synth up is something called Dext, and Dext is modeled after the Yamaha DX7 from the 1980s. A little link here, click on that, and it loads. And you can see that the DX7 was the synth in the 1980s. A lot of iconic 80s sounds. And you can uh, click on the download it here link. It takes you right to the page and you can download it straight from the manufacturer. And this is the PC version. There's also a Mac version. So over here, we'll click on this tab and go back down to our next synth. And this is the synth one. And this is modeled after the Nord Lead synth, also known as the Red synth. This is today a popular synthesizer. And uh, it's a fairly decent synth. Just click on download it here and page loads. And we're gonna scroll down until we get to Synth 1 version 1.13 beta. And once you download that, you're gonna to wanna to get the Synth 1 factory presets and the reading sound patch file. And uh, download all of that for the uh, Nord Synth, or the Synth 1 actually. Okay, our next synth is Zebraletti. Click here to get to Zebraletti or Mini Zebra and download it for Windows and just hit OK to download it to the folder you want and you're good to go. This is a very good synth and it's definitely worth having. And it's modeled after another uh, synth called Zebra 2. It's actually um, a, a, the free version. Okay, so it's definitely worth having this in your arsenal. So let's click on our tab over here, go back to our page, and we're gonna go scroll down to uh, Tyrell, which is our next synth. And it's also from Yuhi, and you have to click on this link to get to the page to download it. Uh, then you just scroll down, and when you get down to the bottom, you're gonna see a list here, and you want the uh, Windows version, obviously, but there's also a uh, manual that you can download as well. Uh, English manual. So let's go ahead and click back and we're going to scroll down and our next synth is Syntronic. Now this is a free version. This is provided by IK Media. You just click on this link to go to the site and you can learn more about the synth and then you can sign up uh, to uh, get it. And they have a lot of different types of products for free and uh, Syntronic is probably one of the better ones they have. These are all synths from the 70s and the 80s like Moogs, and uh, the iconic sounds of the 70s and the 80s, actually. And some of the classic Roland type synths are in here. Um, the free version has some limitations, but it's still very useful and it's still worth having. Uh, I've got the paid version and it's, this is really my favorite synth that I have. Okay, next one is Tunefish. We're gonna click here to get Tunefish. This is uh, another great synth. And you can read about this. And this uh, guy survives off of donations, but you know he puts this out here for free for everybody, and it's without limitation. And it's a pretty decent synth, actually. Okay, so our next one is the Super Wave P8, and another great synth it has a lot of great sounds in it. And uh, you just go here to download, and then you have um, factory patches and uh, uh, 
uh, custom patches and initialized bank patches and and then you have of course the version of the synth that you want to download our next one is pg8x and this is modeled after roland synths and um, classic roland synths actually and uh, another great synth and um, just click what you want to get here there's a mac version then there's a windows version uh, if you can get the windows uh, 64 version you know the 32 is kind of good on the way of the dodo uh, get uh, 64 whenever you can do that and then um, let's go back to our tab here and there's all kinds of other synths in this and you can go through and and check out the ones you want and check out a few of them uh, and then as you go along you can go ahead and download them at one point I've downloaded all of these I've had these installed and they're decent and uh, I've used them uh, and, but they all work. There's no viruses or anything like that. Click the yellow tab to go back up to the top. And we'll go back to our Ultimate Free Software um, collection. And we're going to click on the instruments now. Now, these are VST instruments, but they're not synths. And you can see the first four are the Cakewalk instruments. But we go down here to Sample Tank. Sample Tank is a sampler. We need a great sampler. This is also by IK Media, and it's a decent sampler. And the free version provides a lot of stuff. There's a lot of great sampled sounds in here. And uh, so I, I have the full version. This is a great sampler. Uh, download it. The free version is awesome. You're going to love it. So let's go back to this tab, click on that, and go to our website. And let's scroll down to the next one, which is Versillian Studios Chamber Orchestra 2. I'm going to click on Get It Here to go and get it. And this is the best one in the list, in my opinion. So we're going to scroll down. I'm going to introduce you to somebody. This guy's name is Samuel Gosner, and he did a recording project. Uh, basically, he sampled all of these instruments and uh, put them together in a package for us to use. And the free version is referred to as Project Sam. So we have uh, three different packages here. We have the Community uh, Edition, Project SAM. We have the Standard Edition for $99 and the Professional Edition for $229. So to get this, just click on the little violin there and you go down and you can hear uh, what this sounds like. Uh, there's audio files that you can uh, get samples of. And you scroll down a little bit further and there's different packages you can download. This is the sound font version. This is uh, Big Cat's VSTi. So this is a standalone VST plugin that works inside a Cakewalk. Click on the link to go over to Big Cat Instruments. And just keep scrolling down. And we'll go a little bit further down. And that's what the plugin looks like when it's inside of Cakewalk. And then you just click on the Windows 64 edition and you're good to go. It will download from that point. Uh, but there's other versions you can get as well. Uh, there's a version that fits inside of Contact, which is another sampler. And uh, you can go down and there's another sound font package for a different type of sound font player. Uh, there's another uh, contact made by uh, Alpine. Here's a sample tank version. See, all of these different companies take this free software because it's open source and they make a version of it for uh, their uh, players. This is Orcs Tools 306. And uh, you can see that these guys have taken uh, Project Sam and they've arranged it also in a VST plugin. 32-bit and 64-bit. There's a version for Sample Tank as well. And uh, this sounds awesome as well. Just uh, another option for you. And we're back on our main website here. We're going to go down to Sonata Symphonic Orchestra. I'm going to click Get It Here. Click on the Get It Here link. Okay, this is from VST Buzz. This is a free full orchestral sample library. If you look on the left-hand side, you'll see a list of instruments over here. And you will discover that this is bigger than Project Sam and these instruments sound awesome. Play the videos to hear what they sound like. This is a well worth it. Got to give them your email address and then they'll send you um, a link within the email. But it's worth having. Spitfire Audio is another great collection of instruments. You'll just click the link to go over to their site and once their page loads, you can scroll down and see their instruments. They're more exotic instruments. Some great stuff though. Click on the get to get their uh, instruments and there's where you would log in, which means you need an account. Click on join labs. And once that loads, you put your email in and they will send you an email confirming the account and you can get your uh, instruments via email and download them that way. And there's a lot of great instruments. Each instrument has a little video that shows you what it sounds like and what it does. Let's go back to our tab. 
We're silly and the same people who gave us Project Sam gave us a free upright piano. Just click on the link to go over to their website. I'm going to scroll down and get our piano. You can get a Windows version or you can get a Mac version and click on the manual to load the manual for the piano. Fairly straightforward. This is probably one of the better free pianos you're going to find anywhere. There's another uh, free piano called Piano One, and this one is modeled after Yamaha C7 Concert Grand Piano. It's a decent piano. Um, click on the link. There's an ample guitar, and there's an ample bass. This is another good company. Click on the link to go there. And uh, when it loads, you can see that you have to scroll down a little bit. Okay, and we're going to click on the plugin boutique to load the site, and you're going to have to create an account. And this is the Ample Percussion Cloud Drum, also done by Ample Sound. And um, once you have your account made, you can come back here and get this and the other two plugins we just looked at. So let's go ahead and click on our tab, and go back. Keyzone is another piano that you can get. It's a classic one, a little bit older, but it sounds decent. Okay, the London Piano is by Big Cat Audio, and these are the same guys that brought us Project Sam in a VST format. There's a lot of plugins on their site. You might want to go over there and check them out. Okay, uh, Stephen Slate Drums. This is better drums than what you're going to find in the Cakewalk plugin. Click on the link to go to the site. And once the page loads, you just give them your email address and set up an account, and then you can download the free version. And the free version drums sound great. The MT Power Drum Kit is also an excellent uh, option for drums. I'm just going to click on the link to go over their page and once the page loads, we're going to scroll down to select the version we want. It comes with a Windows version and when you hit Windows there's a VST version and a version for Pro Tools. Also comes in a Linux version and comes in a Mac version. And this is a complete drum kit with no limitations. And there's no accounts to set up with this. And this is actually a great sounding kit. Uh, you have some demos to the right that you can listen to. Uh, but there's also a collection of MIDI files that you can use. Uh, beats that are pre-programmed that you can just drag over and use at will. This is probably one of your better options. Again, better than the drums you'll find in the Cakewalk uh, software. This is uh, Drum Pro. And... Um, Drum Pro is a uh, electronic drum kit and it comes in a uh, Mac version and a, a Windows 64 version is available. And uh, excellent, excellent uh, electronic drums here. And last but not least, there's DSK Instruments. Okay, we're going to go over to DSK Music and you'll see at the top they sell a CD for $25 and there's 1,640 high quality instruments. But beneath that, there are instruments that you can download for free. All of these instruments are for free, and there are a lot of them here. And uh, just download a few of them, see if you like them. And uh, if you want, come back and get the CD. It's only 25 bucks. And uh, there's a page too. So there's even more instruments available on the second page. And once that page loads and you scroll through it, you'll begin to see there's a wide variety of instruments to choose from. All kinds of things like horns and harmonicas and pianos and violins and strings and, and exotic instruments too. So come check this out and see if this is something you can use. Okay, $25 is a great deal for the CD too. I'm not affiliated with them, just in case you're wondering. Okay, so we're going to hit our button to go all the way back up. And we're going to go ahead and click on our Ultimate Free Software Collection. And we're going to go down to VST Effects, another category here. And uh, these are effects that are free. And Yuhi has put out this reverb unit that's uh, unique from other reverbs. It's worth having. In fact, the first four plugins, the first four or five plugins on this list are reverb units. Here's Ambience. And beneath that, we have Sanford. And then we have uh, Tall Reverb. And we have another Tall Reverb beneath that. Let's go back up to Sanford and click on that. And you'll see that we have the Sanford Reverb. And we also have Sanford Delay and a bass tightener and uh, these are decent plugins i've not really used the, the um, synthesizer so i can't really speak for that but the reverb is exceptional it's, it's really a good reverb and each reverb unit sounds a little different and that's why there's multiple reverbs 
And here's a digital delay from Acon Digital. And there's a PC version and there's a Mac version. A PC's coming 32 bit, 64, get 64 bit if you can. We'll scroll down a little bit more, click on the link, and we're gonna get this chorus. This is probably one of the best choruses you're gonna find anywhere, free or paid for. Definitely, if you get anything at all, get this. Uh, it's gonna sound better than any chorus that's inside Cakewalk. More effects over here to the left if you wanna take the time to look at those. Uh, there's a tall flanger. And then we have Ignite Amps, and Ignite Amps will blow you away. Let's just go ahead and go over to the website and check them out. This is their flagship plugin. This is what you would spend money on, and this sounds pretty good, actually. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit further, and you're going to see what they give away for free. And this is what they give away for free, and this is an incredible amplifier. It comes with a lot of features, and uh, we'll scroll down a little bit, and this goes with the amp. This is a cabinet uh, emulator, basically. And as you can see, there are other things to download. Here is the NRR1, you can get that. And here is the Anvil, another good amp. And you just go to the bottom of the amp and you click on Downloads. The Mac version and Windows versions are available. And just save your file. And as you can see, they make the real deal too. So they make some hardware amplifiers as well. So let's go back to our website though, and we'll continue our quest to find some great plugins. Okay, so as we scroll down, you'll see TH3 here. Now this is the same TH3 as in Cakewalk. It's free software and I use it, so it's in the list. The same thing with uh, Cakewalk plugins. I use it, they're free, it's in the list. And then GVST offers some great um, plugins as well. You'll find a guitar tuner in there in their collection. Then we have a vocal plugin here from Auburn Sound. This is, uh, you can think of this like an auto-tune type of thing. It does a couple of different types of effects actually. And there is a free version and a paid version. I think the paid version is like $29 and um, for the full edition. So uh, download the sample, see if you like it. And if you can use it, go ahead and get it. Here is the Tremolo of Death. You, I, you don't see too many Tremolo plugins. I didn't have any in the list, so I included it and it works pretty well. Okay, so we're gonna go back up to our list and we can select dynamic effects, but really, uh, there's no sense in continuing. You can come back here on your own, look through this, see if there's anything you want. Uh, now let's go ahead and install some of these plugins. Okay, so here we are in Dynamic Effects, and uh, I'm going to accept the agreement, click Next, and um, you can see that the 32-bit plugins are unchecked. Uh, people are more or less moving away from 32-bit, and uh, the AAX is basically Pro Tools. We don't have Pro Tools installed. And so we're gonna uncheck that as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and click next. Now I've already downloaded these and they're arranged in folders according to type. And so this is pretty straightforward. It's gonna go into our Cakewalk VST plugin folder. And then this is where they're gonna put the program files. And you just hit next and you're done. That's all there is to it. So let's install this other plugin. Um, and we're gonna uncheck the uh, Pro Tools version, we don't need that. 32-bit ones are still unchecked as well. And we're just gonna go ahead and hit Next. And same folder, I'm just going through the same process and we're finished. Not every plugin you download is an execution file. In some cases, these plugins come in compressed folders and you have to extract them before you can install them. And then you'll find the uh, execution file inside the extracted folder. But in many cases, you get into these extracted folders and there are no execution files. And in these cases, you have to install the plugin manually. And in a case like that, what you would do is copy and paste into the VST folder. Now here is the Synth1 folder, or the Synth1 plugins I've downloaded. And uh, this is modeled after the Nord uh, lead synth, or the red synth, as you remember. And I have to download the factory presets, and I have to install those after I install the plugin. So it can be fairly involved. And now what we see is our main folder where all of our plugins are and they're already extracted and we're going to go over to the dext folder and we're going to install dext 
So as you can see, it's going to create a Steinberg VST plugins folder, which is something we don't have. And I'm going to let it do that because I want to show you something a little bit later on. So we have a standalone application as well. I'll show you a little bit more about that later. And let's just go ahead and install the plugin and we're finished. I'll install a couple more here, and then we'll move on. Here's our uh, piano. And uh, it's in, you'll see here's our plugin our 64-bit plugin, and we're just going to cut this whole folder, and we're going to bring it over to our um, plugins here. We're going to bring it over to uh, Program Files, and then we're going to go down to uh, Cakewalk. No, you passed it. Cakewalk, there it is. And we're going to go to uh, VST Plugins, highlight that, and right-click and go to Paste, and Continue, and that's how you manually install a plugin. Not very hard, as you can tell. Just got to make sure you get them into the VST folders. Okay, so now let's go start Cakewalk. And you can see right away the VST scan is scanning all the plugins that we've installed and it's adding them to our library. And it'll give us a total count when it's all done. And as you can see, we have 102 plugins and it found 73 new plugins, but that is not the total amount of plugins we've installed. Some plugins are missing. And so what we have to do is we have to find those folders. So we're going to go up to edit. We're going to go down to preferences. And in preferences, we're going to go to the VST settings. And in the folder box, we're going to go to add. And then we're going to go to this PC. And once that opens up, we're going to go down to the C drive. And then we're going to go down to the program files 86. There's our 32 bit plugins down here. And there's our Steinberg program folder there. Remember, we allowed uh, Dex to add that folder. And it's starting to scan the plugins already. Okay, so here's our VST scan 141 plugins now, 39 new. Okay, so we're going to add some more. We're still missing some. So we're going to go to uh, this PC. We're going to go down again and find our other folder. And it's going to be located in our C drive in our 32-bit program folder. There we go. Program files, actually. I'm going to go down to Steinberg. Past that, we're looking for VST plugins. There's our Blue Cat plugins. I'm going to click OK on that. And now scanning those, we have 157 plugins total. And uh, we've started out with Cakewalk 27 plugins. So we have 130 plugins we've just added to the software. So what we're going to do now is going to open up a template here real quick. And uh, we'll close out the uh, inspector by hitting I. And we're going to close out the browser by hitting B. We're going to add a track real quick and pull this down. And let's check out some of these plugins we've just installed. Let's right click and uh, we'll change the way the layout looks, I think. Uh, we go. Let's go to uh, type. Okay, so we can see the difference between VST3 and VST2. We'll go down to VST2, and there's some of our plugins. Vox and Go has a great collection of uh, plugins for dynamic effects, and they have some metering options that are not found in Cakewalk to help you master better. Uh, Span is a great plugin to get. That's what you're going to want to get for mastering. Uh, also, well, we can go down and look at. Uh, let's see what else can we load. Um, let's load uh, Yuhi. Uh, there's that Yuhi uh, reverb we talked about earlier. Uh, pretty great reverb, actually. Um, okay, let's see what else we got. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, yes, Ignite Amps. Let's ig load Ignite Amps. We're going to bring this over. This is an awesome amp, as you can tell just by looking at it. Okay, so we have two channels, a clean and a lead. Okay, and there's just click on a knob to adjust it here. And uh, this is our channel switching. That's a lead and that's now it's on clean. Okay, and so uh, we have, switch it again, we're over to the lead section. This is a bright switch for the clean side. Okay, this is a bright switch for the uh, lead side. Deep and a shape knob, okay. And um, this is a great sounding plugin. So we'll go over here and click on this little arrow and we can look at the back of the amplifier. And go over here and we can change our tube configuration. There's several different things we can adjust from back here, but there's some universal things that are set for the front and the back. For example, we can change it to stereo if we want. Uh, we can change the oversampling rate if we want. 
Uh, we can uh, load a preset if we want, and uh, just a number of presets are right here. Uh, these are presets that you make. These are not factory installed presets. Let's click the arrow and go to the front of the amp again. We'll look at the presets in a little bit more detail here. Okay, so uh, to load a preset, then just click on load and navigate to where your presets are. And these are presets that you yourself would save. Uh, the uh, factory presets are found over here where it says default and just click on that and choose one to load. And uh, there's a few of them in here that are fairly decent. And uh, the uh, clean uh, bright, you might like that one. Clean cranked is great for a clean uh, guitar solo. Okay, so great amp, really great amp, uh, but we need a cabinet to go with it. So let's go ahead and right click and we're going to go down to uh, VST2 and we're going to go back up to the STL tones and we're going to go to um, uh, Nadler IR and this is where we find our cabinets. So when you load the amp, you'll also have to load the cabinets and we have uh, mics like the Shure SM57 and other types of mics and a choice of cabinet whether we want it off access or not and then we have uh, controls down here uh, we can go to mono dual mono or we can go stereo and when we do stereo it unlocks the panning controls so you can actually have a stereo sound with two different cabinets mic two different ways on each the left channel and the right channel so this is a great amp package. Okay, so let's right click again and let's see what else we have. Let's go over to VST2 and we're, let's look at uh, Ambience. This is one of our reverb units. Great reverb unit. Sounds a little bit different than the other ones. And let's see what else we got. We're gonna go to, um, oh yes, our chorus. This is an excellent chorus. Um, I love this chorus. Uh, and thank God the price is right, right? Okay, so uh, right click and we're gonna go to, um, let's see what else we got. Um, tremolo, there's a tremolo of death. Oh yeah, okay. So here's our uh, GVST and this is a guitar tuner and that's one of the things that's in the suite there. So there's an overview of some of the ones we've installed. Um, let's go ahead and uh, load an instrument now. And uh, let's see, so we'll, from VST3. Let's go down to Yuhi, and this is uh, Cibrelletti. And uh, there it is, it just created it. So let's cover these synths real quick. This is the uh, Tyrell synth. This is the red synth, or the synth one. This is a Super Wave P8. This is our PG8X, our Roland synth. And uh, this is Dext, probably the best one out of all of them that we have so far. Uh, great synthesizer. Okay, and uh, there's Tunefish as well. So, you know, download some of these things and uh, import them in your software and see what you can use. Okay, a couple more things to show you. And you can find links to all of this in the video description. So that'll be easy to find. And one more thing to show you before we leave, before we close this out. I want to we'll hit the start button and see Dex. We're going to pull this to our desktop here. I'm going to click on that. And Dex is a standalone synth. And what that basically means is you don't need a uh, recording platform or a DAW to uh, use it. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, in our next video, we're going to honor the requests that we have gotten in the uh, comment section. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.